I've wanted to build the Master Gundam and Funsaiki high grade since always. The Master is probably my favorite suit design in all of Mobile Fighter G Gundam. And I mean, come on, I get to build a robot horse. What's not cool about that? Here's everything out of the box. There's a ton of mostly yellow stickers, and Fusaiki's white runners are pretty conspicuous. You didn't ask, but yes, that is a new tablecloth. Close up of the majority of Fusaiki's components. Master's steed didn't really get or require much color separation. He's got some red pieces on a separate runner, but there are parts that require paint if you want to achieve the anime or on the box look. Despite belonging to a high grade kit, the manual comes in book form. Just a quick flip through to show that it is in fact a book, and I did not dream this. Torso and head components for the master. The vents on the front are yellow stickers. You're going to see a lot of yellow magically appear on completed parts. So don't get spooked. Both arms, pre-assembly. Though you don't see it here, the resulting articulation is quite impressive. The master, minus its bottom half. The toothpick's just there because it is. It wasn't intended to serve as a makeshift leg or anything. Leg pieces, quite a lot of them too. I at least had the forethought this time to show off the articulation on one of these things. The master is a bendy suit. Waist or skirt components. There's not much to say about this part of the build because a lot of mobile suits rock the skirt. We're not done yet. Guy's still waiting for his wings and or fancy red cape. Wing parts, depending on how you want to display the figure. See those yellow stickers? They weren't tough to apply, but the kit becomes pretty sticker crazy right about now. Since the wings can't actually fold out into the cape, we have separate parts for the latter. This is a little Dracula-ish, but I think the master pulls it off rather well. Again, all that yellow is sticker. It's not really a complaint so much as an, oh look, I did stickers. Optional hand parts and a teeny tiny Master Asia with a not so teeny length of deadly cloth. The manual actually recommends you cut off either Master Asia or the handle meant for the suit, but I didn't feel comfortable with those options. High five? But nobody? It's, it's kind of rude to leave the Master hanging. Here's the half of the build I was most excited about from the start. It starts off with the head, which actually looks like a cool custom chest piece all by its lonesome. Body components. I really liked how this portion of the build came together. It's just different and fun and kind of concerning when you see the incomplete Funsaiki body on its perch. Funsaiki's leg parts. This was the most impressive part of the build for me. The top two rows are the forelegs and the bottom two rows are the hind legs. Here's Funsaiki in all his equine glory. We temporarily removed the saddle portion to gain access to the turn-up peg onto which the Master Gundam attaches. When he's on there, he's on there. There are a handful of builds that I consider the best or most enjoyable, and this one easily makes it into that group. I'd recommend this surprisingly affordable kit to anyone who likes G, the Master, and just building something that's a departure from the majority of other kits. Or when you think about it, a departure from all other kits. Who else rides a giant robot horse? Nobody. Thanks for watching.